a dead man. Now, don't even breathe, hero. You lay where you are. I'll use this gun on you, Alexander. Get in here. Come on. You all right? Yeah. Get away from the window. Get over there. Alexander, get over there with him. Go on. Come on, right, move. Okay, hero. Just who are you, anyway? I'm... Uh... Don't say anything. Shut up. I'm talking to him. Who are you? I'm Sandy Alexander. So you're Sandy Alexander, huh? Who's he? He's my... Well, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's trying to protect me. He's a friend. He tried to come Shut up. Answer. Shut up. Let him talk. Well... Like I said, I'm Sandy Alexander, all right? I'm the one you're looking for. Is it? What's going on in here? Oh, we got a hero here. Yeah, he came in and tried to uh, save Alexander here. Now he claims he is Sandy Alexander. Oh, that's so. <laughs> yeah. Did you check his ID? Let me see your wallet. Look, I'm not carrying a wallet. I don't care one when I'm out in the forest, okay? Just believe I'm Sandy Alexander. Don't listen to right? him. Hey, come on. I'm the real Sandy Alexander. You saw my wallet. Yeah, we have. So what do you got to prove uh, who you are? Lenny, I think there's a really easy way of finding out which one is Alexander. How's that? We've got somebody right out here who can tell us. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Get in there. Come on. Yeah, see, we're going to find out who the real Sandy Alexander is and which one is expendable. Huh? Move. Move. Sit there. Hey! I think you'd better stay right where you are. Mr. He's hurt. Gordon. He's hurt. He's all right. He'll be all right. You sit there. Thanks. Now, Mr. Corey, it looks like we have a little problem. You don't say. Yeah, and you might be able to help solve it for us. See, it seems our hero here, he claims to be Sandy Alexander, too. Now, that confuses me. You know what I mean? What do you expect me to do about it? Now, let me put it to you this way. See, when we caught this one, I had my doubts whether he was Sandy Alexander or not. But he had identification. He had those calls on that answering service. And then when you come up with that money, that convinced me, see? And this guy comes along, plays the big hero. And then when I ask him what his name is, he tells me his name is Sandy Alexander, too, see? Well, for many reasons, I got to keep Sandy Alexander alive. Ilsa Fredericks wants him alive, Jess Cooper. I need you around because I need the money. But a third guy, I can't use that. What are you trying to say? Simple. I got to get rid of one of these guys. But I got to keep Sandy Alexander alive. So you're going to tell me which one is Alexander? He's Sandy Alexander. I'm Jamie Frank. Uh, wait a second. Uh, I'm Jamie Frame. See, I just said I was Alexander to get off the hook. Keep oh, your keep... mouth shut. I don't need any Saturday morning heroes. Well, what is it, Corey? Which one's Sandy Alexander? And which one do I get rid of? All right, Corey. Which one is Alexander? Mac. They're gonna kill me anyway once Elsa gets what she wants. Don't tell them. Don't... Hey, kid, did I ask for your opinion? Huh? You keep that trap shut, or you're going to have a lot more to worry about than broken ribs. Come on, Corey. Which one's Alexander? Now, let me just make sure I understand this situation. This Ilsa wants Sandy alive. So what? So if you mistakenly shoot the wrong man, I imagine she's going to be quite, quite upset. Is that right? Maybe. I don't think it's maybe. I would venture to assume it's a dead certainty. 
You come on, Corey. You cut the Stalin. All right, now you just let me put it this way. I'm not going to tell you which one is sent to Alexander. You're going to make that choice. Go ahead, go ahead. Shoot one of them. But let me warn you. You better be damn sure you made the right choice. Because I would imagine your Miss Ilsa is going to be very difficult to deal with if you make a mistake. I know that one is Alexander. How do you know that? We saw his identification. That doesn't prove anything. He didn't have any pictures on him or anything, did he? Maybe not, but... But, 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 what? Are you going to let that little encounter you have with this guy influence you by any chance? That has nothing to do with it. Huh? Well, it just so happens that I think this guy is Sandy Alexander. It's a difficult decision to make, isn't it, Lenny? And you know what? I'm afraid there are going to be dire consequences for you if you make the wrong choice. Tie them up. All of them. I want them all in here. Until we hear from Ilsa, and then we're going to know which one Sandy Alexander is. What do you keep trying for? You've called her a half a dozen times. She's not answering the phone. I want to keep trying. Why? Something's happened. I can feel it. Even if Ilsa wasn't there, somebody pick up the phone. Lenny, they wouldn't pick up on her private line. I think this is a waste of time. Yes, I know you do. I think she's just out, Lenny. She'll be right back. I want to keep trying. Let's try it one more time. Then we think of something else. How are you doing, James? Well, I think... I have a couple of broken ribs. It's hard to breathe. Outside of that, things couldn't be better. Glad you still have your sense of humor. <laughs> Hurts to laugh, too. That's about all I have left right now. Well, you, you just you just hold up, man. Help may be on its way any time. What are you talking about? Cecile came up here with me. Cecile. Yeah. She got me out of the clinic and drove me over here. Now, she's down at the bottom of the hill in the car. She'll probably go for help. How'd she know where you were? She figured out the switch. Sandy, there's something I want you to do. What? No matter what happens... I want you to try to save yourself. Oh, don't be stupid, man. They're never going to figure out which one of us is Sandy. Yeah, how do you know, man? All they have to do is talk to Ilsa and it's all over. Don't worry about that, okay? Besides, if any of us are getting out of this, we're all getting out. Still no answer. I tell you, I don't like that. It makes me nervous we can't get a hold of her. Look, there's nothing to be nervous about yet. We'll just try again in a little while, okay? I don't like the way things are shaping up. This was supposed to be a clean hit until Elsa got greedy and wanted that money first. And we got the guy. And the guy shows up with the wrong bills. Now we got a kid claiming he's Sandy Alexander on us. We can't get a hold of Elsa. I'm telling you, this thing stinks. Well, we could just take the money we've got and leave them all here. Huh. We can't split and leave anybody here alive, you know that. And we don't know how many people know that they're missing. What if this other guy, this guy that just got here, left, brought somebody with him? Lenny, you're getting paranoid. Well, if I am, I got a good reason. Because if we get caught, it's our necks. Then why don't you go and ask them? Maybe I'll do that. Did you come here alone? Yes, right. I came here alone. Right after work? Right. How about you? You got somebody looking for you? Nobody's looking for me. How about you? 
Okay? You sure somebody knows what you're doing? You said you didn't want anyone to know. I know what I said. But that doesn't seem to matter, does it? I didn't call the police, if hey. that's what you're insinuating. Sure. Now, we can't believe these guys. I think maybe you should look outside and take a look around. Why me, Lenny? Why don't you go and do it? Because I said so! I gotta keep my eye on these three. You know, I hope you guys are telling the truth. Because if you're not, I'm going to be a very unhappy man. You understand? You still holding up, Jamie? Listen, man, I don't want you playing at being a hero anymore. Shut up! Look, uh, take it easy, man. I'm just trying to see how Sandy is. I'm just uh, being sure he's all right, okay? Yeah, well, that's my problem to worry about, not yours, okay, wise guy? Right, whatever you say, man. Hey, Lenny, look what I found outside. What? 